David Bernhard, the Interior Department's Deputy Secretary, said revisions to the rule reflect President Donald Trump's policy avoiding regulatory burdens that unnecessarily encumber energy production, constrain growth, and prevent job creation. Environmentalists slammed the rollback of the rule, which will not be implemented until after a 60-day comment period. The Trump administration is relentless in its push to give the oil and gas industry multi-million dollar handouts at the expense of Americans' health and environment, said David Doniger, the Natural Resource Defense Council's senior strategic director for climate and clean energy. The Obama administration had said that venting of methane cost taxpayers over $330 million a year in lost revenue from natural gas. But industry complained that the waste prevention rule would be costly on public lands, where 5% of U.S. oil and 9% of U.S. gas is produced, and that states with public lands already had their own regulations on the emissions. The rule was challenged in court by the industry and some states, including Wyoming. The Interior Department said the Obama-era rule would have had a net cost of $1.3 billion to $1.6 billion over 10 years. The Trump administration's revisions would save drillers about $734 million to $1 billion over 10 years, and lead to more royalty payments that benefit the public, the department said. Last week, Trump's EPA proposed weakening requirements for testing and repairing methane leaks in drilling operations, the latest step toward rolling back Obama-era regulations to combat climate change. California Attorney General Xavier Becerra, who has sued the administration over delays in implementation of the Obama-era rules, said his state will do everything in our power to hold them accountable to our people and planet.